These items will give you a huge advantage in Hardwood Online. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get all of those items. And at the end of this video, I'm going to reveal you the one item that you also need. In this game all right boys and girls welcome again for another heartwood online video and the first item that you need to have in the game is the elder crown so elder crown is one of the headgear or the helmet that you will wear the longest in the game even though it is only level 15 you will need to wear this until you are like level 30 so yeah he said just die source so this item can be obtained in the elder stag so i mean the elder stag is in this area here which will spawn eventually and that is like a mini boss in this area here which are you know this boss for the stags and yeah you need to grind that for you to get the recipe and then you will then um create that recipe oh nice hair we have there but also you can get that item by buying it from other players so what it does is that it will give you this stats here which is a 216 health and magic power for 24 even though it has a magic power still very useful for all of the classes in the game and to tell you guys i've been wearing this um since i've got this until the level 30 since you know i have this thing now here which is a still lead which for level 33 warrior so yeah that is the time that i replace this elder stack or stop using it even though it's just a level 15 helmet it's very useful and you will need this item it it will give you a huge advantage in the game but the thing is it's quite rare after the update so you just need to buy that i think it was around 3k or so and then you will need to have all of the requirements in order for you to craft this elder crown and of course since we are here the next is we have the mining helmet let me just click this guy here is using a mining helmet and it gives you 130 health and it has a health regeneration and requires level 18 and this is just an uncommon item since elder stag or elder crown is a rare item as you can see here and even though it's still level 15 it's more better than this mining helmet but if you don't have a elder crown I recommend you guys you know getting the mining helmet and you can grind this mining helmet in this area here inside the bone mine and yeah you can just see in here in bone mine and there's a lot of mobs here that is wearing these helmets and you can just kill the skeleton workers or grind this thing here and eventually they will have you know or drop oh we have a nimble harp there inventory full and yeah they will need or they will drop those mining helmet and those things are just uncommon guys if you you know you can't wait and you are still in that level you can you know spend a little gold i think it's around 150 or 500 each and then you can just buy it from other players now along with the mining helmet you also need this item here which this guy has it it is a level 18 item which is uncommon for feet or you know for boots it is the mining boots this mining boots is requires level 18 and still the same grinding spot you can just grind in this area here and eventually they will drop those items and then you can just use it for you mining boots will give you an attack power which is best for those warrior or physical attack and even though it has a attack power it's still very useful for most of the classes except for the you know the mage and the priest if you all know since priests can have or inflict physical damage i mean if you have this staff here you can also have a physical damage because you know it is now a short range compared to the mage which usually um throws fireball at the enemy so yeah at the meantime you can just use for those uh, mining boots but yes guys it's best for those that are physical which is the rogue or the warrior in the now the fourth item that you need in hardwood online is this thing here which is an accessory it is a skeletal ring it is also an uncommon it requires level 21 for you to wear this it gives you a magic power and attack and this is like a general purpose ring for you know every class in the game this is quite easy to get because after the update they will add this you know they added the quest in here which is the green flag captain and then you can just bring 25 bones and then you know you can complete the quest here i cannot interact since i already completed and this is like the second area so that is the bone mine um exit there in entrance so you can just go in here and then go and left so yeah this is the bone mine and go in here and then entering the stone glade and then go in left and you will see this thing here so early on you can just complete the quest just bring 25 of bones and bones is very easy to grind items eventually or you know i think you have that a lot in your inventory 
right now. Now the fifth items that you need to have in the game right now is quite rare to have, you know, since it is a drop inside the drop, which is the ceremonial beads. Though it is called uncommon because it's uncommon in the weapon crate, which is you need to have. And then after you open that, you have a chance again to get the ceremonial beads, which is uncommon in that rarity, okay? So it requires level 30 and it is really giving this boost here like plus 11 magic power and attack power and you really need that in the game right now it will give you a lot of boost so to get the weapon crate it drops in every mob inside the bone mine so you can just grind in here you know while you are leveling i think you're already i'm um, encountered this also if you're like grinding in this area in here so you can just grind in all of the bone mine area um rats um these skeletons here you can also have with bones and you can also go with the bosses if you can get those things i think it has a higher chance and then after which you can get this weapon crate and afterwards you can open them so let me open my weapon crate here before we go to the last which is the bonus since you have reached this part of the video let me just uh, drop this thing here let me open this oh yeah you can also sometimes get this thing here which is a common so yeah that is weapon crate crate. i think it costs around 1.5 um k each of the weapon crate for you to get all right so since you have reached this part of the video i'm gonna show to you these one items that everybody needs in art of online whether you are a level one or you know what level you are and what class you are and that's none other than the mount in the game so i also have a video how you can get free mount but there are three ways to get these things the first is for the quest we have a Vero here, which, you know, gives you the skeletal steed. And you need to collect 15 lumen crystals. And you can then get the skeletal steed crate, which, you know, you can open and then you will get the mount. And the mount is eventually um, in your wardrobe and then you can just use it. So I have two here. So this is the free mount, which also I made a video about. You can get this for free by, you know, completing the quest in here in Fur Trapper. So after you complete all of the things in here, it will give you a crate or fur trapper crate and then after you open that you will get a free mount so yeah i don't have a quest right now because that is the latest quest i think in the last or the next <laughs> update of the game they will add those quests here and this is another method aside from quests and which is you know you can buy it here and it costs ten thousand of gold just to get this common adventurer's horse crate or you can have the wanderer's horse crate for five hundred thousand of gold i can't even afford it so yeah, those are the items that you need to have in Heartwood Online. So there's also another high tier items that you need, but we'll have a different video about that. I hope that you did learn something. And if you did, leave a like, turn the subscribe button, hit the notification button so that you don't miss any upload. This is Luki. Thanks for watching. See you next video.